Hello, friend. Welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Sumit, and today I am going to demonstrate you how to perform selection binding in Wave. So, for this, we are will we'll be using one financial data balance sheet data, and that data we have I have been extracted from my ERP solution net sheet. So, I have built a sample dashboard out of it by using that data, and as you can see, that's my sample dashboard where. I would be calculating the asset liabilities and equity uh, with respect to sum of quarter one, and that's the total of that's the total of all four quarters, and that's the total for my all four quarters. So let me show you the data. So my data is in a proper hierarchical format. It's a six level of hierarchy is there. I'm using account level one to account level six. Then I have got four quarters data, quarter one and quarter four. So I will be using this data to build my dashboard, which I have already built. And as you can see, there is one comp, there is a data in one tabular format where we'll be showing quarter one total, quarter two total, quarter one percentage change and quarter two percentage change with respective two. And the grouping will be done based on the change percentage will be based on account level. Now next move on to the next part. So this is not the requirement. The requirement is basically we'll be going to talk about binding here. As you can see, whenever I made a selection in assets, so it only lists me the assets and that uh, both the table as well as the chart gets updated. If I remove the selection, the selection gets removed. So my concern here is that we, whenever we made a selection, all these are dimensions. So we can add, we can filter the data based on our dimension. But my concern is my requirement is I would like to change the I would like to create a fil filter which is used to change the measure. So we'll be going to emphasize only on this one right now. That is this is showing sum of quarter one, and my requirement is it should show one control over there, one selection which would be showing uh, sum of quarter one. And sum of quarter two. So I'm go I'm going to show only I'm going to make change only for quarter one and quarter two. So the major will be changed for quarter one and quarter two. So whenever we made a selection in quarter one, this will list quarter one. If I select quarter two, it will select quarter two. You can continue same. You can create same for quarter three and quarter four respectively. So for doing this, I would be using a toggle control. So I will be using a toggle control for for doing same. So let's move on to the edit dashboard, and I drag and drop a toggle control here. And in this toggle control, we need to bind this <coughs> toggle control with a step. So I click on toggle. As you can see, only dimensions are listed. So measures are not listed here. So we'll be going to Create dynamic measure, static measure. So I click change data set. Create a static step with custom values, and I give here named as quarters or measures, and I give as QTR one value as QTR one. Add it QTR two. That is for it stands for quarter two, and this is QTR two. And uh, click on create. So now, as you can see, the Widget is added, and when we preview, we can select quarter one and quarter two. But still, whenever I made a selection, this particular graph is not updating. So right now, if I have made a selection in quarter two, but still it is showing QTR one. If I select QTR one, still is showing QTR one. So based on the selection, this this need to be changed. So basically, we will be changing the measure based on the selection we done in a toggle control. Now the next step, we would be going to customize the JSON. So I press Control E to customize JSON, and that's the measure. Now in this measure, we need to change this value. First of all, uh, I remove this and pass here. I write sum of sum of. Uh, it should be in this form. QTR one. Make sure the labels are correct. So I'll switch to. We can go and. Find out the labels properly first. So I go to balance sheet. That's the sheet I'm using. And if I say sum of QTR one, so QTR one is in capital QTR one. In same manner, if I change this to QTR two, so in QTR Q is capital TR two is in small letter. 
so this we need to take care of name should be in proper so as i qtr1 and this i change to sum of qtr2 so we have added we have added uh, a widget and the widget we have added the values to it now we need to bind this widget the selection we made in this widget need to be update this particular this particular uh, widget so first of all let me go and check the step which is associated with this widget so to know to find out that which step is linked with this particular widget so select the widget on the right side you will get two options widget and step i click on step and that's the widget which that's the step which is associated with this particular widget that is account underscore level underscore two account one so i just copy this switch to control e press control f and search for this so that's the widget that's the step and in this step you can see the measure is showing is pointing to quarter one now instead of this measure i remove this measure and here I write double quotes bracket and the selection we done on the first widget selection we made in QTR one. So I just copy and paste it here. One more thing we need to make change. We need to remove this aggregate flex because now we would be not be uh calculating the measure has changed and measure is the measure is changed based on the selection we made in a toggle so that's all let's go and validate by default it is showing count of rows so we have an option here we can make the initial selection so i'll click on option and say pick initial selection and by default i set it to qtr1 and done so by default selection is qtr1 let's test it i preview the data and uh, right now it's showing sum of QTR1. As soon as I select QTR2, you can see the measure is changed to QTR2. So we can make we can change the measure in same in this format. So I have done for QTR1, QTR2. You can change the measure for you can add more quarters. You can do it the same for QTR3 and quarter three and quarter four. And uh, we can it can be uh, it can be changed or it can be applied by using same widget. So uh, the step we have associated with this we can make changes into that so the step which is there the step which is linked to this we can make changes into that step we need to just copy paste it two more times so that's how we perform selection binding in wave analytics and uh, based on selection how to change measure of a chart so that's all in this video if you like this video don't press to hit like button if you have any comment you can post your comments in chat window in comment box for customized training or for consulting services on salesforce you can connect with us keep watching have a nice day